oh well these pictures on the screen looks nice and good but actually they are intruders and food thieves which live on other organisms and uh, cause some diseases whether it is yellow mite virus tick bacteria leech mosquito or mushroom these are some of the examples so these organisms have a relationship with their host that relationship is called as parasitism and uh, before going into the depth of the parasitism let's understand what are parasites actually most biologists uh, uh, think that parasites are organisms that live in or on organisms of other species called as host and benefits by deriving nutrients at others expense and cause diseases in some cases so this definition is most acceptable now focus on these two words in or on these two words define the types of parasites and uh, benefits is taken only by the parasite and not by the host so the relationship uh, is called host parasite relationship or parasitism so that is the basic definition of parasitism it is basically a relationship between the host and uh, parasite uh, which in which uh, only parasite gets benefits and the host is only harmed not benefited either by nutrient loss or receive diseases or kind of both these things so the common concept of a parasite among the peers or among the society is famous for causing diseases in humans and other organisms so whenever we talk about a parasite uh, the people understand that uh, we are talking about a disease causing agent that a pathogen but parasites uh, are other types also and uh, all parasites do not cause diseases so the types of uh, parasites are basically two based on in and on if parasites uh, live on or outside of the body of the host they are called as ectoparasites for example bed bugs eyelash mites head and body lice fleas and scabies these are some of the examples of ectoparasites in humans while endoparasites uh, are those uh, parasites that live inside the host body and uh, get nutrition nutrition or uh, cause diseases are endoparasites if we talk uh, the endoparasites of humans uh, they are liver fluke fasciola hepatica plasmodium trypanosoma parasitic flatworms uh, schistosoma and tapeworm tenia solium are the most famous and common examples of endoparasites in humans now let's understand uh, the parasitism with the help of examples of both ectoparasitism and endoparasitism let's talk about ectoparasitism uh, first bed bugs bed bugs are actually very small and uh, oval shaped uh, brownish colored insects which feed on blood of humans or other animals they actually cannot fly but they can move quickly on the floor on the walls or on the ceilings as well and they are thieves they remain hidden in the bed frames mattresses headboards and from where they can bite humans easily or they can reach their host easily uh, they are actually not infectious but they can reproduce three generations in one year that's quite uh, fast speed so they suck the blood of humans that's why they are parasites and they suck the blood from outside the body that's why they are ectoparasites so now endoparasites liver fluke is an endoparasite of humans and other cattle or other organisms liver fluke actually enter in body through contaminated or undercooked food like uh, fresh fishes so when liver fluke enter the body it move to bile duct of liver from intestine and live there the disease caused by liver fluke is uh, actually fasciolysis and that's not a common disease and uh, you may be surprised to know that uh, they can live 20 to 30 years and uh, start producing eggs after 6 months which pass to intestine 
and the cycle begins again so liver fluke live inside the body that's why it is an endoparasite and the relationship is endoparasitism hope the concept of parasites and parasitism is clear thanks for watching